Hello viewers, it is a pleasure to come to you once again. This is Otisam Mathematics YouTube channel. This is where we seek to address basic concepts in mathematics. I'm Samuel Boatin, a tutor at Prempe College. I'm on a series the building blocks of mathematics mean the seven building blocks of mathematics the first block is arithmetic i'm now on the second block which is algebraic expression i've already done the introduction so kindly if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe like it you can give your comment if you don't understand anything just give your comment i'll respond to that so just sit down and then watch the rest of the video today i want to look at something on addition subtraction multiplication and division of algebraic expression before we go into that Let's quickly look at like and unlike terms. We have already explained what a term is. Now, what does it mean when we say like terms? They are terms which contain the same variable and, de and degree. For instance, if you have A and 2A, so these are two terms if you look at the variable involved a a here the power is one one so we can say that a and two a are like term there is another example you can talk of x squared y and then you can also have three x squared y even though the coefficients are different but we are concerned with the variable involved here the power of x is 2 and then the power of x here is also 2 y is 1 and then y is 1 here so we can say that these two are like terms let's look at unlike terms they are terms with the same variable but different exponent or it could have different variables that is what is most of the time is common so you can have they are unlike them because the exponents are different even though the variables are the same okay let's come to addition and subtraction of algebraic expression take note you can only add or subtract two or more terms of algebraic expression if the terms are alike you already have already explained what a like term is so take note if the terms are not alike you can add or subtract so let's see some example simplify the following we have the first question 5y plus 2 plus 9y so number one we have to group the like terms and i've explained that if they are in the same the the, the the terms are in the same variable with the same exponent it is considered as like term so 5y and then 9y we can write it as 5y plus 9y plus 2 now how do we add we first add the coefficient so 5 plus 9 we have 14 then add your y plus 2 so here there's no term in y so it is considered as unlike term so you can't add you leave your answer like that 
number 2. We have p squared plus p plus 3p squared. So once again, the letters are all p, p, p. But here we have p squared. We have p squared here. So they are alike. We can put them together. So p squared plus 3p squared plus p. So p squared plus 3p squared. We add the numbers in front. 1 plus 3, you have 4. And then you bring your p squared plus p. So I've told you because p squared is not the same as p, we can't add them. Let's look at the third one, the third question. We have 3x, 3x plus 2y plus x plus y. So let's group the line terms. 3x plus x plus 2y plus y. So 3x plus x, you have 4x plus 2y plus y. The numbers in front first. 2 plus 1, which is 3, then you add the variable. And once again, because 4x and 3y, there's no like term. You leave your answer as it is. Let's check other examples. Example 4. We have 2x minus 3x minus x. So, 2x minus 3x minus x. This one, the terms are all alike. And as we did in addition, you subtract the numbers in front. So, 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. Minus 1 minus 1. So, we have minus Two x minus two x. So two minus one, two minus three is minus one. Minus one minus one will give us two minus two. Then we add the variable. So let's check question five. Three minus k. Minus 5k. So, k and 5k are alike. We have 3 minus. Minus k minus 5k. So, minus 1 minus 5. Give you minus 6. And then add your variable. So, this way you can't go further. Because they are two different variables. Let's check number 6. P plus Q plus 3 plus 3P three plus 5. We have two variables here. P, P. Q, we have only one Q. So let's group the light terms. Put all the P's to, together. P plus 3P plus Q plus 3 plus 5 p plus 3p is 4p plus kill plus 3 plus 5 is 8 at this point 4p and kill are different and then the constant here so you can't do anything about it you leave it as it is so that will be our answer. Let's take some advanced questions. Question 7. 5k raised to the power 3 minus 2m cubed plus 7k 
keep minus 3 m keep so we have k keep here another k keep here m keep m keep so let's put them together so 5 k keep plus 7 k keep and then when you come here minus 2 m keep minus 3 m keep don't forget this is not an equation it's not the terms are not crossing in the equal sign so the sign will remain the same it will not change to 7 just move to this side it has not crossed any equal sign so it will not change so 5k keep plus 7k keep so 5 plus 7 it is 12 then you add your variable keep then minus 2 minus 3 you have your 5 and then m keep so k keep and m keep are different variables so they are not alike we leave your answer as it is let's look at the last one for this part p q keep uh, squared plus 4 p squared q minus 7 p squared q minus 3 p q squared plus 3 plus p squared q plus p q squared this is a little bit advanced but it's not difficult just stick to the rules know what comprises like them and then group them so let's look at this step p q squared can we have another term like this in this expression so p p q squared yes there is one here and then there is another one here so let's put them together p q squared and then the next one is minus 3 p q squared plus p q squared then let's come to another term plus so we have p squared q this is p squared q and then there's p squared q so plus 4 p squared q minus 7 p squared q then there's another one here which is plus p squared q yes it's the terms are many but you take your time and then group them now they are like p q squared minus 3 p q squared plus p q squared so let's check the coefficient we have already explained what a coefficient is so here is one so one minus three is minus two plus one so we have minus one so minus one and then p q squared so let's come to this side this one you need to add the plus the constant term and then let's come to p, k, p squared q to so 4 minus 7 which is minus 3 so minus 3 plus 1 which is minus 2 so minus 2 minus 2 p squared q plus 3 so you can write it as minus 
p q squared minus 2p squared q plus 3. So when you take your time, by all means, arrive at the answer. So let's go to the next. So we are done with addition and subtraction. I will urge you to solve more questions on addition and subtraction. That is the secret of mathematics. The more you solve questions, the more you begin to identify ways, easy ways of solving problems. Next is how do we multiply algebraic expressions? And then here k is 1, the power is 1. So you add the two powers, 1 plus 2. So you are going to have k raised to the power 3. x here, another x there. So as I have said, you first multiply the coefficient. So 6 times 3, which is 18. And then x times x. Here we have one x. We have another x. So we are going to have x squared. Then you bring your y, z. Let's check the third one. 4p squared times q squared times 2. Here there is one here. 1q. So 4 times 1 is 4 times 2. So we are going to have 8, 8. So let's come to the variables. Yeah, we have only 1p. So 8p squared, q squared. So we are going to do more of this. But I just want you to get a basic concept so that we can advance. As I've told you, go and then solve more questions on that. So that is how we multiply. Now, under multiplication, we'll be looking at other aspects. So let's look at other aspects within the multiplication. Before that, let's look at division. Let's look at divisions. Good. How to divide algebraic expression. And I have three questions on the screen. Let's take them one by one. Now, the first one. 20x cubed y squared divided by 2xy. Now, to see the y squared. And then let's use the line, division line, rather than the symbol. 2xy. Now uh, for this, as we did, 2 can go into 10, 20, 10 times. So we have 10 x cubed y squared over x, y. Now we can expand and write it as for 10 cube, it is the same as x times x times x. x multiply itself 3 times. And then y squared 2 can be written as y times y. So over x, y. So 1x will cancel 1x here. 1y will also cancel 1y here. So we are getting we are getting this is equal to 10 10 so it's left with two x's. So x squared y okay. that is how 
we divide algebraic expression so let's take the next one the next one so first of all you rewrite it for 24 y cube over 3 y squared so you can rewrite this one as 24 times y times another y times y is y keep and then we have 3 times y times y so this y will cancel this y this y will cancel that y then 3 will go into 24 8 times so you are going to have 8y the denominator is 1 and any number divided by 1 the same as the same number so you still get 8y let's look at the third one so 18 a b cube on 6 a b as we did we can expand it so 18 on the numerator times a b is multiplying itself three times so we can open it up b times b times b over 6 times a times b so 6 going to 18 three times this a here can cancel this a b can cancel b so on the numerator we are left with 3 times b times b over 1 and this is the same as b times b is squared so we are going to have 3 b squared okay. so let's go to the next step expansion it's still a form of multiplication a form of multiplication expansion of algebraic expression mathematically or in mathematics when we say expand to expand means to remove the bracket there are times that we put certain expression in bracket to group them so if you want to remove the bracket then we say you are expanding so if you, if you can look on the screen, as I told you, multiplication will raise surface. So, this one, if you want to remove the bracket, then we need to multiply. So, 2x times x squared. So, once again, 2 times 1. You multiply the coefficient before you multiply the variables. So, 2 times 1 is 2. And then, x times x squared. This is x to the power 2. So 1 will be added to it. And then making 2x cube. That is for this term. And then the same 2x will be multiplying this one. So 2 times 2 is 3. Is 6. Now we have x here. And then we have y. And then you add them. So 2x times 3y. Is giving us 6xy. Let's look at how we expand this one. So 1, P, let's remove the bracket. P plus 5 plus 2P minus 7. So we have one P here and another P there. It's 2P here. So let's put all the P's, the terms containing P together. Plus 2p 
plus 5 minus 7 so p plus 2p is giving us 3p that is there's one here 1 plus 2 which is 3 and then we add the variable to it so plus 5 minus 7 so this one 5 minus 7 is giving us negative give a negative so we need to it's giving us negative so 5 minus 7 which is minus 2 okay let's check other examples to expand and then simplify anytime you come across this will expand and simplify what it means is that after removing the bracket group the light terms and simplify after removing the bracket you group the light terms and then you go ahead and simplify there is the first question here the first question so let's remove the bracket first which is 12y plus 3y plus 3x so we have a term in y here another term in y there so if you want to add we add the numbers in front 12 plus 3 is giving us 15 then you bring your variable plus 3x now x and y are different variables so they are on our online terms so we leave it let's check the second question here we have once again we have two variables a term in k a term in p here to a term in p and then a term in k we have to expand and simplify just remove the bracket group the light terms and then we simplify so in removing the light terms in removing the brackets so we have 2k plus 3p plus 3p minus k so let's bring all the term in case together so 2k minus k plus 3p plus another 3p so 2k minus k 2 here 1 there so 2 minus 1 which is 1 then k 3p plus 3p 3 plus 3 we have 6 and then p so you are going to have k plus 6p yes that is the answer so anytime you are asked to expand and simplify just remove the bracket and then you go ahead and simplify so we are still on multiplication but the next aspect that we want to look at is binomial remember that in our introduction to algebra we explain what a binomial is so a binomial is said that it's an algebraic expression with two terms which are separated by plus or minus so if you have two binomia for example a plus b times c plus d now the concept is you take a you multiply it by C. You take the same A, you multiply it by D. Then you come to B, you multiply it by C. And then the same B, you multiply it by D. Now let's look at the first question. So we are going to take this, multiply it by that. K, you multiply it by this. So, you can write it as k 
into bracket k plus 3 plus 2 into bracket k plus 3. So, k times k, power 1, another power 1. So, you have k squared. k times 3, so we have 3k. Plus, 2 times k, have 2k. Then, 2 times 3, we have 6. So, you group the light terms. You have k squared, 3k plus 2k is 5k, so 3 plus 2, 5, then you bring the k there, so 6. At this point, even though they, they are in the same variable, but then different exponents, so they are not alike. So if they are not alike, leave it as it is, so that is it. Let's take another one. So you take the first two a and you are multiplying by a plus one and then minus three a plus one. So two a times a is giving us a squared. 2a times 1, which is 2a, minus 3 times a, is minus a, then minus 3 times plus 1, which is minus, if you remember the arithmetic. Okay, so is there any like terms? I can see that there is two like terms here, 2a and then 3a. This one, the exponent is different, so you can classify it as like term. So, a 2a squared, 2a minus 3, first of all, 2 minus 3, you are, going, you are getting negative. And then a, you bring your a, minus 3. Answer is 2a squared minus a minus 3. And then once the exponents are not the same, you can put them together. Still on multiplication, but this time it's a perfect square. How do we multiply a perfect square? Remember, remember, a squared, isn't it, a times a, yes, yes, a squared, we can write it as a times a, so if you have p minus 2 all squared, p minus 2 all squared can be written as p minus 2 times p minus 2 so then we make use of the same concept this will multiply this and that so p bracket p minus 2 minus 2 bracket p minus 2 p times p which is p squared p times minus 2 minus 2 p minus 2 times p so giving us minus 2 p then minus 2 times minus 2. Minus times minus will give us plus. So we have plus 4.
are we having like term here yes p p so p squared minus minus 2 minus 2 giving us minus 4 p plus 4 yes that is it let's look at the second one 2y plus 5 all squared can be written as 2y plus 5 times 2y plus 5 so which is we take 2y 2y plus 5 then plus 5 2y plus 5 so 2y times 2y as we have learned we multiply the coefficient first 2 times 2 4 and then y times y y squared so 4y squared 2y times 5 so 2 times 5 then y 5 times 2y so 5 times we have 10 also 10y then 5 times 5 which is 25 do we have light terms yes 4y squared plus 10y plus 10y is giving us 20y plus 25 plus 25 so y squared is not the same as y so we will not go further we leave it as it is now for expanding a perfect square for expanding a perfect square I've explained that so we have 4 which is 2 times 2 so we said that we say that four is a perfect square. So in the same way, perfect square are not only for numbers. You can get the expression which is a perfect square. And when the power is two, that expression is a perfect square. Okay. Now there is a shortcut here that you can do. And the shortcut is any time you have a perfect square, what which means that when the power is two. The power of the binomial is 2. It's a perfect square. You square the first term. So let's, let's use the subscript. You square the first term, which is p squared. And then you multiply 2 by the first term of the binomial times the, the, the second term. So 2 times p, which is 2p, times minus 2. So which is minus 4p. And then you square the second term and here it's always going to be plus because when it is minus we square it becomes plus so we have plus four let him go over Let's, so the shortcut here if it is a perfect square you square the first term of the binomial so 2y all squared 2y all squared and then this two times that times that so we have two times two y times five and then you square the last term five squared so you have four y squared plus twenty y plus twenty five so that is a shortcut to this one uh, if you can use the shortcuts always go for the concept the basic concept the traditional way of doing that but you should also learn how to expand this there are times that you may have many expressions which contain perfect square in that case uh, it will be time wasting if you go through this before you get your answer so on multiplication so on multiplication Yes, so let's look at 
the first one and the next type of multiplication is difference of two squares difference of two squares so we have x plus y and then x minus y so we take this one x plus plus y into bracket x minus y so x times x is giving us x squared x times minus x you have minus x y times x you have x y then y times minus y which is minus y squared and we have light terms so x y x y so x squared now minus x y plus x y so when they check the coefficient minus one plus one which will, which is giving us zero so this whole term go to zero minus y squared <laughs> y squared let's look at this one number two so k times k minus two plus plus 2 times k minus 2 mm -hmm. so we have k squared minus 2k plus 2k minus 4 so the light term minus 2 plus 2 given as 0 so we have k squared minus 4 The third one, 3p times, 3a times, 3a minus 2p, then plus 2p, to bracket 3a minus 2p. So if you want to multiply 3 times 3, it's 9, a times a, a squared minus 3a times 2p which is minus 6ap plus this one 6ap then 2p times minus 2p first multiply the coefficient which is minus 4 then p p squared 6 AP and then 6 AP minus 6 AP so minus 6 plus 6 is given as 0 so you have 9 A squared minus 4 P squared okay. now there is a shortcut that you need to know as if it is only if it is only a difference of two square now take note of all the example that we have solved under difference of two square now you realize that this x is the same as the x here this y here is the same as y here only the sign differ so x plus one is conjugate is x minus one why is the conjugate you just change the plus and minus if here is plus the conjugate will be minus now let's come to the second example you have k plus 2 so the first terms are the same then the second terms are the same only the sign differ differs good so the conjugate of k plus 2 is a k minus 2 okay this one two the same thing 3a here 3a there 3p, a 2p, 2p there. It's only the sign that differs. So this plus this conjugate is minus. So anytime you have a binomial and then you multiply the binomial by its conjugate, the result that you get is the difference of two squares. So let's check all our answers. The here, when you square x, you get x squared. 
when you square y you get y squared and then the man is different the money is which is different now let's come to example two k is here when you square k you get this then you square two you get four and then the minus become the difference when you check this one two is the same thing 3a so 9a squared minus 4p squared so that is a simple way so anytime you have something like this just square the first term minus the second term square the first term minus the second term for instance if you have 2x plus 3y times 2x minus 3y so you check 2x 2x 3y 3y only the sign differs so you know that you can use the difference of two square you square the first term square the first term minus the square of the second term and which is 4x squared minus 9y squared bear in mind that when you have 2x all raised to the power 2 the square affects everything in the bracket so you square the 2 you square the x over here to you do the same thing you square the 3 you square the y so that is the difference of 2 square whatsapp number on the screen those who are outside who want to contact me the number is there so if you don't understand anything Leave WhatsApp, you can go to the video column and then you give your comment. I will definitely God bless you for taking your time to watch this video. Until I come to you the next time, stay blessed. Bye bye.